Human Creatures Quickly Scare, Rumptious Delicious Libra. Welcome to your Love Tarot reading, Abracadabra Baby. Tonight we are doing you versus them, the classics. We're going to see what is going on between you and your person, whatever that means to you. Situationship, relationship, bumble date, marriage. All right, let's see what is going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus in your person. We assume some kind of drama between you and this person. Rift or separation, this is a separation. This is a difficult person. Libra, I'm telling you already, I know this is, you know, this is a Scorpio channel, all right? Your mommy is a double Scorpio. We just came into Scorpio season. We're neighbors, baby. Happy birthdays to everyone who had their birthday in Libra season as well. And now uh, coming into Scorpio season, all you cus cuspy people. But listen, Libra, this is not a good person. I'm sorry. You got the fool here. Somebody walked away from you. Somebody left you. Somebody didn't care. There's, you know, emotional distance inside this person. It's almost like they don't feel empathy. Oh, you know, last night was so romantic. I feel like the videos last night were so romantic and scrumptious. And tonight, it's like a psychopath. The Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. This person does whatever they want. They do whatever they want. In their mind, you know, like, I'm gonna do whatever I want. I wanna leave Libra, I'm gonna leave Libra. I wanna come back, I'm gonna come back. What a douche flute. Let's see, why? Ten of Cups. Very weird manipulative energy. This is someone who has a lot kind of hidden inside of them, the Seven of Swords. Do not trust this person with your heart, baby. All right, if it's a new energy, it's almost like out of love, the Ten of Cups. They, you know, they want to walk away out of love because they want to play games because they think that's what love is. There's more to this person. It's like this person has some kind of a double life almost. Mm, we'll, we'll delve into it. It's someone who's, um, they can be very like, it's like, you know, like a mafia boss who reads romantic poetry or something. You know, there's like a disconnect with this person that I'm finding a little bit, you know, on the <laughs> dark triad. <laughs> um, situation vibe situation you know like dark triad traits you know someone who has psychopathy and stuff like that uh libra before we get into your psychopath let me just say welcome to blue angel love tarot i love you i see when i appreciate you give your mommy a kiss mm, give another kiss Libra Crazy Spooky Sale is still on until the end of October. All my services are half price, 50% off, baby. All right. Uh, so tarot, um, coaching, magic spells. If you want to work with me, now would be the time. Book now to avoid disappointment. The sale is on until the end of October. However, it depends on how long my energies last. So let's go day by day with Bill. Uh, and I love you so much, Libra. For all your love and support throughout the years, this channel would not be what it is without you, baby. All right, but Bill, let's get back into your psychopath. I think you had a Scorpio energy in your last reading. You could be dealing with a Scorpio again. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's extremely weird, very romantic, very like, yet like you can feel their feelings. You can feel their soul, like they feel deep, but at the same time, they, they're like, torturing small animals you know it's like very dual nature very weird let's see please show me angels of love what happened in the past also they do see you as that romantic kind of you know the moon that's how they see you they see you as this romantic almost unattainable like you know mm, force force of nature in your high vibrational femininity masculinity anything in between they do see that in you they also see that you're a triple threat, you know? So you're like, you know, you're kind and beautiful and scrumptious and successful and all of this. But there, it's almost like, you know what? This is a thing. And people say that a lot. Someone said that to me once as well. And because, you know, that's my type, psych a romantic psychopath. But that man once said to me, I destroy what I love. I destroy, that's what I do. I destroy what I love. And there's something to this person that sounds like that guy. The, um, the Knight of Swords. And it's not my current ex-boyfriend either. It's like another one. <laughs> There's a lot of the, the, they all say the same stuff. Uh, the Knight of Swords. Mm. Yeah, this person, you know, this person wanted to be like, not even the boss, but they wanted to be like, I don't know, admired for how smart they are. They want to be admired for how 
amazing they are. They wanted you to be on their team indiscriminately. If it's a new energy, a bimbo, himbo, anyone between you went on Tinder on a Tuesday, beware. This is a manipulator. This is someone who, if they ghosted and walked away from you, plans to return because it's a game and you never know what's going to happen with them. They wanted you to take the back seat. Someone who drives recklessly or does reckless things, you know, loads of like psychopathic, sociopathic traits, you know, someone who is reckless in their dealings with the world. The King of Wands between you, this is interesting. I think this person, if it was a new energy, believes there is some kind of a rival to their charms. They think you have too many options, you're too scrumptious, and they didn't like that. So it's almost like they tried to nug you so hard, they walked away from you, and now they're kind of like in this in this bit of a pickle so because now they have to keep walking away as long as you don't chase them baby they thought you had somebody else they thought you at least had the option to have somebody else and they didn't like it this person likes to be in control three of pentacles and you know you may have told them that you could have said you know i'm not an option you're the option <laughs> you know like whatever three of pentacles you are very well well aware, <laughs> well aware libra that you have a lot of people who are interested in you. And this person also was not ignorant to this fact. Uh, all right, if it was a more established connection, baby, jealousy and control got in the better of this relationship and your person wanted to teach you a lesson. So, <clears throat> so if you're wondering, you know, how did this all come to this ending? It is, and this person just walked away. It could have been out of the blue too, because the full energy is someone who could have surprised you. Like it was like a total U-turn. And it's because they were jealous. They were jealous of how people see you. They were jealous that you're scrumptious and they were jealous of uh, your secret admirers, baby. I'm not gonna lie. They thought, it's not like they thought you were cheating, but they didn't like, it's almost like they blamed you. You know, they blamed you that people like admire you or like Boo-Boo's trying to, uh, you know, talk to you and stuff like that. They blamed you for it instead of, you know, <laughs> looking at themselves and the other people. You're a pentacles. You're just too scrumptious. Oh, Boo-Boo, what a darkness. Temperance and their intentions, they want to teach you a lesson. They're like, yeah, I'm going to leave. Now I'm going to be silent, you know. And then I'm gonna tell Libra how it is. It's almost like you could have said something mean before they left um, because they wanted you to suffer. The Grim Reaper, in terms of what to expect from them in the near future, but Bill, nothing good, nothing good. Let me just clarify that. And Eight of Swords at the bottom of the deck, you know, this is someone who brings pain into your life. Delete from database, delete from database especially if it's a new energy and you don't have any connection to this person like that that's tangible run libra because it's a psychopath yeah three of wands they're going to continue walking away for as long as they can they're trying to get the better of you libra the high priestess something's going to go down in scorpio season though we just came into scorpio season so Something's going to go down in Scorpio season. Something will be revealed. Something will come up to the surface that is not so good or scrumptious, baby. Um, it could be, you know, this person could be popping up. And I'm not, li listen, I'm just a random bimbo on the internet, right? But be careful because this is someone who's either going to continue the silent treatment and play games with you. And almost like they're waiting, they're waiting for you to do the work, but something's gonna come up about them, like new information is going to surface in Scorpio season, and quite possibly this person could also pop up unexpectedly, but be like in a nefarious way, you know? So if you're dealing with someone who you know is a psychopath or has like these tendencies, this could be someone who's just surprising you out of nowhere with, you know, extremely bad intentions with that Grim Reaper here. So just be, you know, you know your story best, but Bill. You know what to do, boo boo. You gotta delete this person from the database. Page of Wands, you got new ventures, new beginnings. Go and do the things that you love, baby. The way to deal with the situation right now for you, Libra, is to follow your dreams, follow your passions, take care of yourself, and don't think about this douche loop, because that, that's what this person is trying to do. They're trying to live rent free in your freaking mind. Don't let them. This is a psychopath. All right, boo boo. <laughs> Cross watcher, no offense. These energies can't switch. Uh, all right, Libra, this is what I have for you today, well, tonight. Um, let me know in the comments below. This is your story. Also, if you vibe with my channel, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button because that really helps your mommy out uh, with the AI YouTube overlords. I'll see you next time, my boo-boo. Stay sparkly, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you. Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Mm-hmm.